Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for all the stuff? All of it. This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. All right, so uh, Lady Lacey had to work once again throughout the day, so yeah. I was mostly on my own. Uh, looking for some goodies. I had the kiddo with me. Uh, her name is Kaylee, so I guess you could call it TKO Tom Kaylee out and about. But she doesn't like to be on camera because she's a teenager. So <laughs> let's just call it me, I guess. <laughs> now, the fun thing about this, though, is I like to try to find stuff, you know, obviously for me, but I also like to find stuff for Lady Lacey and surprise her yep. with the things that I got. And I love surprises. So let's see how I did. First of all, hit some Goodwill and found this for three dollars. Crossfire! You get caught up in the Which I knew about this one because he sent me a message and wanted to know if I wanted it. And I said, yeah, for three bucks. So uh, it's actually in pretty good shape. Yeah. The, uh, the tray's not cracked or busted. The guns, they move. The triggers work fine. It's got both scoring pieces, just not a lot of the uh, silver balls. Uh, the Tin Man's balls are, are kind of lacking there, but she had the idea that we could probably find some. Oh, yeah, we can go to the hardware store or a hobby store and just find some more ball bearings. That's all they are, just metal ball bearings. But uh, this definitely does date us, though, because I think the younger people might not remember Crossfire, but it had a pretty kick-ass commercial. <laughs> I mean, those kids, I mean, they had, like, the Rambo bandana around their heads, and they were all, like, you know, sweatbands on their wrists, and they were like, pew, 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 pew. I mean, they were getting intense. Crossfire, you get caught up in the crossfire. And I'm pretty sure one of them got shot off the screen or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he spun away. <laughs> Crossfire! You'll get caught up in it. Yeah, and if you don't know what Crossfire is, by the way, it is a fantastic game where the two of you gather as many of these as you can from your tray, you, you load, load them into your gun, and you shoot them. You try to knock these scoring pieces into the other side, and when you're losing and you get mad, you just grab a handful of those ball bearings and you throw them at the other person. No, you don't! And then you get in trouble for it. It's some time in the future. The ultimate challenge. Crossfire! <laughs> you get caught up in the crossfire! I wish! Crossfire! <laughs> you get tagged on YouTube for using the song Crossfire! 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 So the next thing, I just want to throw this out there. Sorry, dear, but this one was all me. Just to share real quick. I never get anything. I got a bag of games! Oh my. That is a in lot. In fact, watch this. Wow! <laughs> so, uh, a bunch of Xbox 360 games. There's one Xbox game in here. It's very jokery. It's all a green and purple. A little bit. <laughs> um, I hit up a yard sale, and a lady had all these. They were really nicely priced. Uh, usually one to two dollars. A couple were three. I think out of all of these, the total came up to like twenty-three fifty. And I asked if she would take twenty bucks for it. She said yes. And the nice thing is, these aren't like just kind of, you know, like garbage games. They're not all just sports titles or anything. Because like you got some Borderland games in here. And uh, the ones that I was kind of excited about were these Worms games. I thought these might be kind of neat to try out. Because you got Worms Collection, which is sealed, by the way. And then you've got this Worms 3D. <laughs> Unfortunately, Red 5 will be disappointed to know that this is not the same Worms he played on PC. I'm surprised you went and picked this up, though. Well, the reason I got that is because we have no shortage of copies of this game. I was going to say, one of Thank our you, VGM. April Fool's <laughs> box had like five copies of this. But I went ahead and got this because I'm pretty sure all of the copies we have are in a case. Yes. And this one was just uh, in the sleeve. So I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's a little different. And look, there's a smiley face in there. Nice. <laughs> That's to uh, sync up your connect so the ghosts can be seen on it. No. So a couple of GTA games. 
20 bucks and um, I think there were two games that I left behind simply because I already had them. <laughs> but not bad. Not bad at all. Way to go, Tom. Yeah. Unfortunately, I only found one for you this time. <gasps> a Goosebumps book! Yay! Horrorland! Oh, it's only $1.99 or $2.99 in Canada. Oh, sorry, Canada. <laughs> They're always some more expensive than we are. Now, to be fair, our kiddo actually found a decent little stack of Goosebumps books. Mm -hmm. However, they were trashed. Were I mean, they? they looked rough. Some were missing the back cover completely. Aww. A lot of the others, the spine was terribly damaged. Uh, most had that yellow look to them. Uh, the pages were a little thicker. Maybe they got wet at some point. So, just the one this time. That's okay, though. I'm excited to find even one, and I, you know, haven't read this one yet, so that'll be fun. All right, well, speaking of reading material, I also found some comic books. Ooh, comics! This one was a book, and I got just for fun. Oh, this looks like Harry Potter! I believe that it is, but it's a manga-looking Harry Potter. I'm not even going to try to say it. Mm, I don't know. Because you could see but Ron and Harry Hermione, on the front, and then it looks Hedwig. like Ron, Hermione, and Hedwig in the back of Harry. If this is manga, obviously Harry is going to summon Hedwig, and Hedwig's going to turn into some giant robot, and they're going to level a city <laughs> fighting some... Mecha Hedwig. Hedwig. Vol Voldazilla. So what for me, some uh, fill-ins. Ooh, nice. So we've got uh, X-Men versus DC. So it's Marvel. This was back in the 90s when uh, they were trying to do big stuff to up those comic sales. And there was actually a whole series of different books out there of Marvel Comics versus DC Comics. And then some fill-ins got a uh, Excalibur that I needed, a Pizza Hut X-Men that I needed, <laughs> What If X-Men. Ooh, I love the What If series. I thought you might like this Ooh. just for uh, the fantasy motif behind it. Ever and quest. since it's based off of a game. It looks very, the art style looks very Grimm's. So that could be fun. And I love trade paperbacks. Those are always good. He's uh, pulling her hair a little bit. Though. A little, a little, <laughs> a little yeah. bit. I can't tell if she likes it or doesn't like it. What happens at EverQuest? She's in chains, though. You was the first place you go with these comic covers. That's what I notice. Uh, some more fill in, so another Ooh, Marvel, Marvel zombies. zombies. But this one's Ooh, Battle, Battle World, World, and you've been reading some I, Battle World. I was lately. reading the Battle World. I finished, but I didn't pop over to the zombie, Marvel Zombie part of it. Not too long ago, we had picked up Wild Things number one. I found number two for our kiddo. Nice. It was only a buck, so I was like, here you yeah. go. I'm dragging it around to flea markets today, so why not? Nice. And then the rest are absolutely 100% for you. Ooh, Scarlet Witch on a spider web of some kind a tale of the from the edge of madden madness madden football and then we have in a very solo adventure the scarlet witch and then the chilling final finale of the scarlet witch so these were issues two three and four nice so now you have to keep an eye Just out gotta for find one. number one all right, so this next one i would almost say it was kind of for me but i think it's kind of for both of us it is a movie Bruce Campbell is the man with the screaming brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be fun to watch. Have you seen this one? I have not, but I've heard a lot of good things So this will be this. a fun one because this one we'll both get to experience. And I mean, it's Bruce Campbell. He's basically the king of the bees. So you you can't pass this up. No. What was this? Two dollars, yeah, I think. That's awesome. And I mean, you've got the insert. You've got the disc. <laughs> the disc looked nice. I checked it. I love it. how like early movies like 1950s movies it looks oh yeah like even with the writing and then the people on the front oh my gosh oh my gosh okay now we fight dirty so the last thing that i picked up because you like tabletop games i do like tabletop games. and we're suckers for uh just you know that cool retro art looking stuff what you find here shadow lord that looks cool this looks like a like a um, RPG or, or Dungeons and Dragons is what I was thinking of. It is a Parker Brothers game from 1983. I do not think it has all the pieces. Um, there seems to be a spaceship piece inside, or supposed to be, and it does not have that. Mm -hmm. I did not count the cards yet. Okay. It is missing the dice. Normally that's not a big deal, but this time these are uh, some diamond-shaped eight-sided die. Oh, okay. So, Which we might be able to find some eight-sided right. die at a, at a game store. We've got some good game shops around yeah. here. 
How about we take a quick peek inside so we can at least show off the board you real fast. You mean a closer upper? Well, that is interesting. It looks like a space map. <laughs> you know, like when you pull up on your video game, like like you've got your hub world and then you can like travel over to these things. So that looks really cool. I see. Oh my. Wow. There's a, a whole tray of things in here. Actually, in retrospect, maybe these teeny tiny pieces are supposed to be the ships. So maybe the only thing we're missing are the die. On here it says, missing dice and colored wheels. I think these are the colored wheels. Yeah. Now... It might be missing some of the missing colored some, wheels. We might be missing some, but we have the majority of them. Yes. Your card holder here. And little tokens that say different things and then cards and they kind of almost look like playing cards there's a oh i always like these when it kind of helps break down the rules a little bit easier and yes. kind of helps remind you of what to do and then there's the instruction booklet with which is also just as colorful as the rest of it it's really nice this is this will be a lot of fun to check out the price tag says ten dollars all I did was I went up to the lady at the desk and I asked her if she knew whether or not everything was in here. Mm -hmm. She said that she thought there were some pieces missing and that if there were, it was on the inside, like written down somewhere, which it was. Yeah. So she opened everything up. Uh, the cover is not in the best of shape. I think it's mostly that's, held together by tape. But that's pretty common for board games from this era. Oh, for from some 83. Reason. Basically, she pointed out that, you know, there were pieces missing. It wasn't complete. And she goes, you know, since it's not complete, you could just have it. Oh, wow. That's so, nice. I was like, are you sure? And she goes, I mean, if you want to donate a dollar or something to the store, that's fine. I was like, <laughs> tell you what, I'll give you two. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, because, nice. yeah, especially since it was already marked at 10. And, I mean, she was being nice. The majority of it was there. It's yeah. like, look, I can give you two bucks. I mean, obviously, she didn't feel like she could sell it incomplete. And, I mean, I was interested in it, at least just for the cover. And yeah, because the I know how really much pretty. you love trying out new tabletop I do. games. I do like trying out new tabletop games. So, all right, well. well I got this a, is a good fun I got a few things all over the place. Basically, all our stuff. <laughs> the only thing we're missing is a toy. I, I couldn't find anything. <laughs> like that. I looked, I did. That's okay. <laughs> Crossfire's basically It's a kind toy. of a toy game. <laughs> so, all right, well, it just goes to show, even solo, you can have a little TLC. And that sounds so wrong. <laughs> Guys, if you have any comments about anything, please leave them down below. Please if you've keep seen them clean. the man with the screaming brain, <laughs> if you've maybe played Shadow Lord before, or if you love the Crossfire commercials, at least, uh, any of the video games, any of the comics, we love to see. Or Goosebumps. Here. We love to see all of your comments and uh, drop a like if you happen to like the video or if you like anything in the video, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see what we're finding next, whether it's us together or if you're working and sending me out to run the trenches all alone, I'll see what I can dig out. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know what we're doing out and about in the real world and to know when a video is dropped because sometimes YouTube just doesn't tell you. And don't forget to hit us up over there on T Public because we've got merch. And the most important thing, nerdlings, if we like it, we nerd it. All right, so, uh, so we've got Sean Connery as a wizard with uh, John Reese davis from Indiana Jones, Simon Belmont. They're trying to figure out who this shadow guy is. And then you've got uh, Simon Belmont's alternate skin. And the Scarlet Altered Witch. Beast guy. Actually, no. You know what? This is Red Riding Hood all grown up with the Big Bad Wolf. I think you know, the Altered Beast guy. Power up! They, uh, they put their differences aside. And I love how it's a castle, and then it's obviously space. out in space. You look out the window of your castle, there's freaking spaceship you know, flying by. my castle's often floating in space. <laughs> okay, I guess I should uh, get back to you. I'll put that right there if you want to display. 